Really thankful. Um, you know, our guys did a tremendous job, um, you know, fighting back. You get a big two-run homer by Carlos um, later in the game, and then, to, and then you know, we get the bases loaded in the, I don't even know what inning was it, the eighth, and we don't score. And then, you know, they just kept going, and you get an outstanding performance by our bullpen tonight. Um, they did a good job, and uh, I don't know what I have tomorrow, but we won tonight. Early on, obviously, Mitchell knocked out early on. How scary a moment is that as you see him? Really, back really scary. Um, you know, it just you're, you know, it seems like your heart just drops into your stomach and you're, and you're scared for the kid and, and you see blood coming out. And, um, you know, I was really worried. But, you know, he has a, a small hairline fracture in his nose. Um, and uh, we're going to monitor him pretty closely the next 24 hours. Um, but he's in the clubhouse, and that's good to see. Uh, how about to share anything new on? Just uh, his negative. His X-rays came back negative. He hit it off a shin. There's obviously there's not. You know, it's amazing how many times he misses his pad, um, whether it's his toes or his above his shin. He's day to day. Who else? Susan. If that game had kept going, who was going to pitch? CC. <laughs> yeah. You talk a little bit about how Carlos has has turned it on lately. Yeah, I mean he's been really good for us, and he's coming up with some really big hits, and um, and it's great to see because you know we always knew that he was capable of doing it. We talked about last year he got off to a great start, and then he had the elbow issue, and you know he just it was hard to be the same player with it, and uh, he's he has been big really since June, and then it was unfortunate he got that little rib cage problem, but he's come back strong since then too. Damn. Pretty important spot for Greg Bird's yeah. first hit. First double. Yeah. Second hit. Here, I meant. Yeah, but, uh, obviously that's a huge hit. And then Mac. I mean, Mac had a tremendous night. Um, you know, for a while he was the, the huge part of the offense, um, and he gets another double later on. So, uh, you know, our lefties facing a tough closer did a good job on him. Did Bird kind of misread what was going? No, no, no. Do you think there's anything I mean, he could have done hard, about that? Got a glove on it, so you at least want to beat a third. So he was going to tag. So I actually thought he did a pretty good job. Anyone else? Tyler. Did you get a, a feeling that, um, you know, that that Mitchell was going to be okay? Uh, did you see him when he went down the dugout steps or anything after what we saw on TV? Um, I called the training room. Um, when we, uh, you know, when the when the inning finished, just to see how he was, and I got the feeling that it was going to be okay. But I mean, obviously, you worry. Um, there's a lot of scary things that can happen. And I said, we'll watch him closely tonight. All the way in the back, Tito. Joe, when you were catching, did you ever have something like that happen to one of your pitchers? And if so, do you remember? You know, I remember Andy Pettit. A ball nipped his nose. Um, you know, I've, I, I, I think that was probably the, the scariest one that I saw. Actually, Cal Ripken hit it, um, and it was, it was a bullet. And, uh, you know, that's the dangerous part of the game. You know, a lot of times they don't consider our game to be dangerous, but that ball is really hard, and it comes off the bat really hard, too. And, uh, you know, it's a huge concern. 